last day. I am not sure if you can hear me or not. Right now, there is so many like trucks packed outside and it's still loud. So I was thinking that if I use my microphone, it might be better. Currently in the rush queue for um, Mean Girls tickets. And it's the Wednesdays wear pink things. I'm wearing a pink skirt, got pink shoes on, got a pink bag. So I'm ready. Uh, I'm not sure which performance I'm gonna go for because there's a matinee and an evening today. I'm still waiting on some digital lottery results for Dear Evan Hansen and Beetlejuice. So that will probably, if, if I somehow win some, <laughs> I've not won any so far for every single show, um, that will determine which I get. But I might just ask for best availability, see which is the best seat. So we'll just see where the day goes, whether I see one show, two shows. That's basically all I'm gonna be doing here in New York, let's be real. Count that as a success. Look at the rush line right now. That is still the line. Um, I have got a matinee ticket. I've decided to go for the matinee just in the small chance that I might be able to get standing room from Moulin Rouge. I don't think it's very likely, but I have got row A. I'm not sure if it's always row A. I feel like it might be. And seat 10, so I am so excited. It's gonna be amazing. And um, so right now I'm gonna head to Moulin Rouge and beg for a standing ticket, but I don't think there'll be anything because they only offer those when it's sold out and I looked online and there's still some seats left, but we'll see. Seriously guys, why am I like this? Um, um, I figured out that like using this earphone thing whilst it may look a bit weird is the best thing to do when you're in a busy city because right now I can barely hear myself talking but I'm pretty sure that it's picking up her key on here but guess what I'm doing I am so desperate to see Moulin Rouge that um, I purposely picked the matinee of Mean Girls because I knew that Moulin Rouge doesn't have a matinee today so that gave me the option to try and get a ticket for tonight and basically I am waiting for the lottery results for tomorrow because tomorrow they do have a matinee and an evening uh, yeah so I'm waiting for about half an hour to find out the results of that and if not my backup plan is standing room tickets and they will only sell those if the show sells out so yeah, for tonight right now, there's only eight tickets left and they are the very top price ones. So I am sat outside the theatre, refreshing the page constantly to see when those final eight tickets are sold. And then if not, I'm gonna go in and hopefully get a standing room ticket. And if that's the case, I'm also gonna get one for my friend Gerard because he really wants to see it. Um, so fingers crossed, I really, really, really want to see Moulin Rouge, guys. It's like the one thing I wanted. Um, I'm getting so lucky with everything else, but if I get this, it would literally make this the best trip ever. So I really hope it works out. We'll see. Um, I'm gonna go back to refreshing the page right now. <laughs> Update. <laughs> Out of all the lotteries I've entered, guess what I just won for tomorrow? The Frozen Lottery. <laughs> you can't make that up. Out of all the shows, it was absolutely amazing, but I don't think I can pay to see it again because I want to see other things and I'm just like, how did I win that one out of everything? <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna like... I'm not gonna deny the tickets quite yet. I'm gonna like just see what the plan is. I am still waiting outside um, Moulin Rouge right now. They have about six tickets left for tonight. So we'll see, but I can only stay for another hour or so until I have to go make my way to Mean Girls. And then Gerard's gonna get here about 3.34 PM. So I'm like, no an hour look <laughs> between those times they will sell out and start offering standing room. But I just can't believe I won for Frozen. Ridiculous. <laughs> you um i think the last time i spoke to you was probably when i was still outside the theater at moulin rouge so basically i got talking to the other people who were also waiting for standing room only and like i said we couldn't get them until it sold out and i kept checking and then people were returning tickets and i was like no don't do this and eventually it got to the point where i had to leave to go to my matinee of mean girls i had already been making conversation with everybody in the queue and one of the guys was only wanting one ticket so he very kindly i asked him um because he was seeing a matinee literally across the road 
um, he said that he would wait a bit longer and then during the interval would go and check and um, would get me a ticket as well if there was any available. So I was like, yes. <laughs> so we added each other online and stuff. Um, I was really hopeful and basically in the interval I checked my phone and he got there during his interval and the person in front of him got the final two. So somewhere in the space of 2 p.m. and like 3.30, the show sold out and yeah they must have been selling the standing room tickets and they all went and I was like are you kidding me um so I was a little bit upset but it's fine and um, my new plan is to uh, basically spend all day tomorrow waiting around for standing room tickets because I looked online and once again there's not many normal tickets left for um, either the matinee or the evening so if I hang around all day fingers crossed I won't miss out um, but yeah, like it's the one show that I'm dying to see, so I will happily waste a day stood outside instead of sightseeing because I just come here for the shows. Um, but anyway, on a brighter note, I um, went to Beetlejuice to ask if they had any remaining rush tickets, which I was very doubtful about because it is like 5 p.m. Um, and they said they had one left and it was a centre, I've got an um, orchestra seat again. I honestly thought I'd be coming to Broadway and I would be sat in the balcony for every show but so far I've been in the orchestra for everyone so I'm like winning there and it's a central seat on row H I believe so I'm very excited about that. I am literally going in with no knowledge of the show um, I've never seen the movie Beetlejuice I don't know anything about it apart from the fact it's got good reviews and a few friends from camp went to go see it during one of their days off and really enjoyed it and they're not really regular musical people so that's that was a good sign I guess um, so I'm quite excited because it's something different something not in the West End so as for Mean Girls I really loved it like I was really lucky with my seat once again it was in the very corner of the front row so there's a tiny bit of the stage that was restricted but it really didn't bother me you didn't really miss any action um, and actually, I don't think I missed anything actually to be honest like just like when the characters were like walking off and on stage but they never actually stopped there so that was great and I've been listening to the soundtrack once again for a long time and there's some songs that I was obsessed with and some that I was not as sure about but um, once you actually see the show I feel like the ones that I wasn't a fan of work really well and um, I wasn't a fan when listening to the soundtrack of um, Where Do You Belong I didn't really like the uh, Halloween song but on, like, on stage it works um, so everyone was so talented we had a full cast I believe apart from um, Barrett Wilbert Weed uh, but we had her understudy and I've forgotten her name right now I will try and insert it like above or below somewhere but she was amazing I really really loved her like portrayal of the character I really love how they did the backdrop as well because sometimes um, like dig digital backdrops like don't work as well but it worked really well for this and I do like how they've actually made it more for this era and um, considering the fact that the movies set in like the mid 2000s they've kind of adapted it for 2019 2018 whenever it first came out it might have been longer ago actually but I really enjoyed it it was really really fun and I believe it's coming to London as well eventually but I have a head start so I'm happy about that and I went to stage door but I didn't actually I kind of like got there a bit late because I asked for some extra playbills and it took me a while to hunt someone down so yeah I'm really excited about Beetlejuice literally have no expectations I'm excited to see what it's all about and um, the like set and like the costumes all look amazing from all the promotional um, images and stuff I've seen so yeah stay tuned for that um, and then I'll be going back and hopefully having a little bit of a sleep in tomorrow. Not a sleep in, but it will be compared to what I normally get up. I might wake up at 9 o'clock-ish and then get to the box office for 10 a.m. when Moulin Rouge opens. I hope that filled you in. Sorry for all the weird clips where I'm literally speaking into my microphone. It's just hard to film when you're in a crowded place. So I've decided that this is my new go-to and yeah. <laughs> Can we talk about the line to get into Ellen Stardust Diner? Like, what? I always wanted to go there, but I don't really want to go on my own. And even if I did, I don't think I'd be waiting in that. <laughs> Can anyone guess where I am? I am outside the Gershwin Theatre on Broadway, which is where Wicked is. And oh my god, this has been like, I was one of those people that watched all of the Broadway Wicked and um, Broadway.com backstage vlogs. My favourites were Fly Girl with Lindsay Mendes. I briefly came here about two months ago when I had my half a day around New York before I went to camp. Um, and I won't be seeing it on Broadway because even though it's a big part of my life, I can see it in the West End whenever I feel like it. So I'm going to prioritise other shows whilst here, like I mentioned before. But I had to come and give it another visit. And I'm not sure if the box office will be open. I might ask them if I'm allowed in to go there. Um, just while I have time and it's nearby Beetlejuice, so I'm not venturing too far away from where I need to be. But yeah, there's still signs of um, Rachel Tucker out here as well, which I'm going to go show you because she's the best out of the guys, okay? <laughs> Guys, 
got this at a rush price, like just three hours before the performance, is pretty damn good because I don't think this is restricted at all. Um, once again, in the corner, so like the back corner might not be visible, but that seems to be a theme here and it's not causing any problems so far, but the atmosphere in here is so cool. Like, it's not picking up very well on this camera because I need to get a new camera, but it is really cool. Also, just want to give my review for Beetlejuice from last night. I was absolutely amazed. Like, I had never seen the movie. I had no expectations. I didn't really know the storyline. I watched the trailer yesterday, like, um, before I went to go see it and, like, read the really quick, like, description just to kind of understand the general <laughs> um, direction of the story. And it was next level, like, even the atmosphere and the audience was amazing. The view was great, especially since I got a rush ticket, like, two or three hours before the show. Um, the cast, I didn't realise how many people in the cast I was like familiar with from previous things. There was Alex Brightman, and my man's gone blank as to what her name is. I believe, it's, was it Kerry Butler, who's been in um, Catch Me If You Can before? I think it was her, but she was so good. Like, I definitely recognised her face. Um, oh, it was just such a good cast. I even recognised um, the girl playing Lydia. Um, from the playbill, it said that she was in that Lazarus show in the West End, which I never saw. But I feel like I've seen her from promotional shows and everything, like maybe at Western Live or even just from the posters and stuff. I definitely recognised her face and her voice was amazing. Um, I actually am trying to think of who the guy was who played um, Adam because he got a big cheer when he walked out of stage door. He's definitely been in a lot, but I'm just not sure if I'm familiar with him. But yeah, it really surprised me because I knew I'd enjoy it, but it was like next level. It kind of gave me um, like an Adam's Family, the musical vibe, but it was done so much better because I saw the Adam's family and it was okay but I wasn't that impressed and um, so I feel like it was that kind of style of show but 10 times better um, so that was definitely a really good last minute decision on my part it was just really lucky once again so yeah this is my last day and all the shows I've seen so far I have got really good seats in the orchestra and um, if this happens it will be <laughs> standing room at the very back